Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you complete workflow using Lightroom presets, then going to Photoshop and using some Photoshop actions and overlays and then coming back to Lightroom and finishing up the photo. This is a complete workflow using all of SleekLens products and it's, uh, it really makes it easy to edit and improve uh, your editing styles. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here I got this photo here, and the first thing I want to do is kind of decide what I want it to look like. I want it to be sort of a high dynamic range kind of photo, but I still want it to look wintry. Right now it looks a little too warm, and it just needs to look a little bit more wintry to where uh, you feel like you are you have to be drinking a cup of coffee just to look at it, and just being cozied up inside. So the first thing I need to do is just figure out the presets that I want to use. Uh, I'm going to start with the A Winter's Tale presets because it's winter and they kind of go hand in hand. So I'm going to just scroll through here and see which ones I like. These are the all-in-one presets where, which changes a whole bunch of stuff all at once. And I think I like this one right here, the all-in-one uh, A Winter's Tale all-in-one Bright and Shine. So I'm going to click that one. And you can see it already gives it a cool temperature and it makes it look a whole lot more wintry than the uh, previous one was. So now I want to add a little bit more saturation to the photo. Not, not too much, but I want to add a little more saturation. And one of the preset packs that have uh, a lot of saturation controls is the Forgotten Postcards preset. So I'm going to go into those. And since these are stackable, I can go into each individual collection and apply different presets, giving you thousands upon thousands of combinations of what you can do. So I'm going to go down here to Forgotten Postcards number four and then I'm gonna to click tone and tint and more saturation now it doesn't go crazy I don't want it to be really saturated and punchy but it gives it a little bit of a kick but it get, did give it a little bit more of a blue tint and I don't want to add any more blue than I don't have to so I can just go up here to the forgotten postcards number three color correct and I can say reduce blues so you see it takes down the blues and makes it a little bit more neutral still keeping uh, keeping a little bit more wintry feel and, and that's kinda of what I'm going for Okay, now is the time I need to go into Photoshop and look at some actions that we have there and even apply an overlay. So all I'm going to do is right click on the photo and say edit in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so now we got the photo opened up in Photoshop and we need to open up our actions panel. So I'm going to go to window actions and here you can see I have the sleek lens actions packs installed. So I'm just going to click on this one and expand it, click, uh, click that folder and expand it open. And I'm just going to look at all the options they have here. They got tons of options to correct any sort of particular part of this photo but the ones that I want to go into are the enhance and I want to do sky enhancer now I don't have really have a major sky here but I'm going to show you what this effect can do on other things in your photo besides the sky so all I'm going to do is click on that action there and click play and the sleek lens actions comes with a uh, a really good dialog box to help you uh, maneuver and, and apply these effects to your photo. So this one says warning the action is not affecting your photo yet. Uh, paint the layer mask white in the areas you want to apply the effect. So I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to minimize this. And you can see here is the uh, the adjustments here with the layer mask. So all I'm going to do is keep the layer mask highlighted right there. I'm going to get my paintbrush, make sure I have white down here. And all I got to do is paint over the areas that I want affected. So uh, I don't really have a sky here, but I do have this building, and watch what it does to the building. It kind of brings out a little bit more detail in the building, which is kind of cool. So all I'm going to do is paint over all the buildings in this photo to kind of give it that effect. And there we go. I have applied that effect. You can see the kind of, kind of effect it had there, and uh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Now I want to apply an overlay to this photo, and the one I want to use are snow overlays. These make your uh, make your photo look like it was taken uh, in snow. So all I'm going to do is open up the overlays. You can see I got lighting, rain, and snow. So I'm going to click open the snow here. I'm going to click the overlays, and now I got all of these options to choose from. You can see what they look like just by previewing. So I got that one, that one right there. Maybe got some bigger snowflakes here. So I think I want to use this one. So all I'm going to do is click it and drag it into Photoshop. And here I can just size it to where I need it to be. Click enter. And there the overlay is applied. And all I got to do is change the blending mode to screen. And now you can see I have a faint uh, snowflake effect coming on here. So if I want to intensify it a little bit, all I got to do is duplicate that layer. And you can see it gives that effect there but I don't want to do that on the same overlay. So I want to select a different overlay. I can apply multiple overlays. 
So this one has a lot of bigger snowflakes into in it right here. And I'm just going to do the same thing, drag it into Photoshop, scale it to where I want it to be, and then do the same thing. Change the blending mode to screen. And you can see it gives that effect now. Now it's a little bit too harsh. And all I got to do is apply, uh, take down the opacity. And that is about what I want it to look like right there. So now I'm going to go back into Lightroom and do some final, final edits. And then the photo will be pretty much taken care of. So all I'm going to do is go into file, save. All right, and here I am back in Lightroom with my uh, photo from Photoshop. And here I can do a couple more basic ad edits to it. Uh, I kind of like the way it is, but all I'm going to do is just uh, do some free edits here. I'm just going to apply a little more saturation, uh, do a little more clarity, and then maybe take down the highlights. So right around there. So that is actually my edited final ed edited photo. So let's go look at the before and after. So this is the photo that we, we edited in Lightroom. And uh, this is before going to Photoshop. So let's look at the uh, one before the edits. So here is the before and here's our after. Just makes it look like a really good landscape photo. Looks like you were out in the snow uh, fighting the elements and taking the photo. Uh, and all you did was just do some really awesome basic editing to your photo and it turns out great. So I hope you enjoyed that workflow going from Lightroom to Photoshop back to Lightroom using all of uh, Sleek Lens products and uh, you can see what you can do to your photos. So this is just a quick, quick example of what you can do and I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from SleekLens.com and I'll see you in the next video.